Welcome back to 3 Plus U. Well, my goodness, it has been a really hot summer with a lot of 90 degree temperatures and a lot of people have been taking advantage of swimming in the pool. That is something we love to do. And you know what? We are going to bring on Ben Brown. He is the founder and president of In Ground Pools. And Ben, a lot of people may be thinking, well, he kind of missed the boat. I mean, why, why we're heading into fall? Why on earth do we want a pool guy on? The heading into fall, but you say now is the time. If you want a pool in your yard for next spring, you got to get started now. Tell me why. Uh, you know, with everyone um, vacationing at home, and I, I hate to say stuck at home, but in many cases that can be how it feels. Um, you know, our call volume has been very high. Um, we're we're only a couple weeks out though from being able to start a project. And, and what we forecast and what we see is the fall is going to be an excellent time to actually design, install your swimming pool, and that allows clients to be completely ready when next spring rolls around. So, Ben, I remember that a, a pool, uh, an in-ground pool even, when I was a kid, we had one in our yard, and it was basically a hole in the ground with vinyl and a diving board. And it wasn't, it wasn't, but it wasn't part, it was a place for the kids to go swim, but it wasn't part of the family's identity. It, it's almost a part of the, the, the way you can design and make it flow with the landscape, flow with the house. Talk about what a pool means to a family in 2020. You know, really what we look for is an extension of the home, a way to vacation at home, but our goal when we come out and design and what our project managers have been been trained to do is take it and make it look like the home and the pool were 100% designed to go together in tandem. So we want to increase the overall value of the property and the overall enjoyment of the property. So instead of the pool maybe being way out in the yard as an afterthought, we want to bring it closer and make it more intimate with the home. And uh, when I think of a pool, I'm 52 now. I don't necessarily think of going and frolicking in the water. I think of laying by the pool or walking around cooking by the pool and maybe jumping in the water when it gets hot and jumping right back out. It is a place where people are doing all of their social activities now. And you mentioned that, you know, days of COVID, it's a pretty safe way to vacation at home and still be able to be outdoors, still be able to socialize responsibly with people, right? David, it 100% is, and you know, with the antimicrobial action of the filtration system, um, you do have a, a COVID killing agent there in the pool. And, and what you said too is 100% correct. So many times we try to remain cognizant and, and also remind our clients, 80% of your time is actually outside the pool, using that area, enjoying it, even looking at it from inside the home. So when we design, we really try to focus on that. And so, so many times now we're seeing, you know, ledges and, and benches and larger shallow ends so that those areas can be utilized. Also, we can design areas for your grilling and, and that sort of enjoyment and entertainment as well. Now, is, is an in-ground pool, are there certain yards that you can do them, certain that you can't? And I'll, I'll give you an example. I'm thinking of, I have a very traditional postage stamp backyard. Uh, you could put a pool in, I guess. I do have some septic lines running, but you have to be aware and cognizant of all of that before uh, putting the pool in. Are there certain ways around things like specifically septic lines? Uh, there, there definitely are. In, in our experience is generally about 95, 95 maybe even 96% of, of yards are completely suitable. Um, so generally it, it will work, um, in your yard. And, and that's something, you know, when we come out, we don't send out a salesman, we send out a project manager and they are able to talk through with you where your utilities are, what your needs are, your bather load. And then we provide a to the penny estimate. Um, there's, there's no pressure whatsoever and there's no cost for that. Yeah. And, and, and I like that, that specific nature of it. Talk about the specific design for a specific family. I'm, I'm sure you have models that people can look at and things that people can look at, but they can also get things very personalized also, right? Oh, we, we literally, if, if you can dream it, David, we can, we can install it. And so, you know, we, we still see many, many times when the optimum project for folks, say you've, you've got a, a family 
of four. And, and then, of course, there's friends that come over and possibly ch- church friends and family that come over. And so many times, you know, your traditional 18 by 36 or 20 by 40 works very well. But then I've also had clients, whether they're in their early 20s, be in their 70s, and they say, you know, we're looking more for a patio pool. And, and like like you mentioned, David, they might want to jump in and sort of a plunge pool, get cooled off, get back out and go go to the grill or, or you know, something else. And talk about people may be wondering about, okay, you, you, you save up the money, you invest in getting a nice pool. It's something that is going to be a once-in-a-lifetime thing that you've done. You talk about the cost of maintaining. Is there a high cost of maintaining a pool? Or if it's done properly and correctly annually, it really shouldn't be that much. You know, I, and I like how you said that annually. I mean, we, we generally see clients spending three to four hundred dollars a month average, you know, on, on their pro- a year. I'm sorry, back up, David, sure. per year um, on, on their project. And uh, so, so, you know, in my opinion, based on the enjoyment that's there, you know, I, I think it's a very minimal cost. I mean, it's, it's similar to a gym membership. I love it. Well, Ben Brown, I think a lot of people are going to be giving you a call, my friend. And let me give people the phone number right now. It's 423-899-2311. Again, you want a pool to jump into the second spring starts and it gets warm enough, then you need to get started this fall. October, November, those or September, October, those are the times that Ben is saying to get started on it. 899-2311. And, of course, you can get all the information right there. You can even get in touch with Ben and all the good folks at in-ground pool designs uh, by going to ingroundpooldesign.com. Ben, thank you so much, my friend. We'll take a quick break and have more 3 Plus U right after this.